talk about setting up sheet cam for the first time. Now, on uh, if you purchased a machine, then your computer will already have sheet cam set up on it. Uh, but if you need to reinstall it for some reason or install it on another PC, then this is going to walk you through how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download sheet cam and install it from sheet cam's website, which is sheetcam.com. Go to their download section and uh, and install sheet cam. Uh, after installing, uh, during the install process, you'll be asked to, uh, if you want to start Sheet Cam uh, after the install is finished, we're going to say no to that, and we're going to say yes to creating a, a, a desktop icon. Okay, so after Sheet Cam is installed, uh, we don't want to start it just yet. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into... Um, File Explorer, okay, and we're going to find, uh, you, you're going to plug in your flash drive, and when you plug in your flash drive, you'll, uh, you'll see some directories in there, and it's going to look just like this. Okay, so the flash drive that came with the machine is the one I'm talking about, uh, and your directory structure in there should look just like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the sheet cam directory. We're going to find the file with the .sc post extension. That's a post file. And we're going to right click it and say copy. Okay, then we're going to go to our C drive. We're going to find program files. And then we're going to find sheet cam TNG. In Sheet Cam TNG, we're going to go to the Post folder. Now, on a fresh install, you're going to see 180 plus post files in here. Uh, click Control A, and that'll select all of them. Then hit Delete on your keyboard. We're going to get rid of all of them. We're going to delete them all. We only need one, and that's the one that you copied from your flash drive. So after deleting them all, right-click, say uh, Paste, and that will That'll paste this post file in here, and that should be the only one there now. The only uh, .sc post file in this directory should be uh, the rev6c post. Okay, so now we can click out of that. So now, now let's let's open up Sheet Cam. When you open Sheet Cam for the first time, you'll be presented with a dialog box. Uh, that's going to ask you to select uh, rotary or uh, it will, it'll first ask you to select your units and most of the time that's set to inches you can click through those uh, next you'll be asked uh, to select either rotary or jet cutting select jet cutting and you'll pre be presented with uh, the post processor dialog box which is this one here so uh, we're going to set the output file units to inch we're going to set uh, uh, this setting to always use this folder, and we're going to create a folder on the desktop called G-Code. Okay, and then we're going to select this option. And what that's going to do, it's going to save your G-Code to that folder every time. Uh, we're going to set Z0 to top of work, and in post processor, you should see the post that you copied into the post directory. True cut CNC underscore rev. 6C. And that's it. Now we can <coughs> go ahead and uh, hit OK. OK, so now th there's a couple more things we want to take care of uh, under this options menu. So let's go to job options. Uh, this is your material size right here. You can set that to your common material size, or you can change that for each job. Uh, we want to make sure that our origin is set to lower left. So we're going to click the lower left uh, icon right here. Then we're going to go to nesting. We're going to click on keep parts together. Okay, we always want to keep that that uh, selected, keep parts together. Okay, then we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to go back to uh, options machine. We already did, did post processor. We're going to select uh, or set the working envelope. So this is going to be the side, the cutting size of your machine. 
if it's a 5 by 10, it'll be uh, 120 by 60. A 4 by 8 would be 96 by 48. Uh, five, uh, 6 by 12 would be 144 by 72. And we're going to set our origin at the lower left. Okay, and then table display, we're going to do the same thing. Make working envelope and table display should match and be exactly the same. Now let's click OK and get out of that. Now we're going to go into application options and we're going to uh, check reverse mouse wheel and that's going to make the mouse wheel, uh, when you're zooming it'll make the mouse wheel action a little bit more sensible. Then we're going to go all the way over to advanced and we're going to check always use default tool set. Okay, and then we're going to click OK and get out of that. And that's all we have to do under options. We don't have anything to do with plugins. So now on uh, on the view, on the view uh, menu right here, we're going to select the layer tool and we're going to select the code editor. Okay, and then we're going to come down and we're going to deselect show true width. So the layer palette is right here and that's going to show us uh, the layers on the particular part we're working with. And the code window is over here on the right and uh, it is uh, going to show us our G code after we create the G code. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is load this tool database. So the first thing you want to do is click this little tool icon right here. Okay, and this should be checked automatically. Generate name is probably checked on a fresh install. We're going to uncheck that, okay? Just check that. Un uncheck it, and uh, we and, uh, again, we, we do not want that checked. So uncheck automatically generate name. Click OK. And now we're going to say File, Open Tool Set. We're going to navigate back to the flash drive. And in the sheet cam directory, there will there will be a dot tools file. We're going to go ahead and double click on that, and that'll load your tool database just like you see here. Okay, so now we're going to click on file and uh, save default tool set, and say yes. It's asking if we want to overwrite the existing tool set. We're going to say yes to that. Now we're all set up. So the last thing to do is install our license file. So we're going to say help install license file. We're going to navigate back to that flash drive. And in your flash drive, you will see a licenses folder right here. And in that licenses folder, uh, you'll see a license with a uh, dot cam lice dot c a m l i c extension uh, you're going to double click on that and you'll be presented with a message box telling you that the license was successfully installed and to shut down sheet cam and uh, restart it for the license to take effect so we're going to do that we're going to shut it down if it asks you to save the current file say no do not save we're going to say no and then we're going to restart sheet cam. And that's it. It should come up looking just like this. Uh, we should be licensed. You can check that by going into help about and it should show your name uh, as license 2. And uh, that's about it for setting up sheet cam. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.